Okay, here we are. We're going to evaluate all these condenser fan motors with different blades and find out which ones are the closest to the factory specs. This is a sub-zero motor, a 4200740 is the part number. And uh, this is a clockwise motor facing the, the rear. It goes this way. I'm sorry, this way from the back. You can see that the shape of the blade, it's scooping air. So when you're looking at the shaft this way, it's counterclockwise, but it's based upon the rear. It's clockwise. That's a clockwise motor. And uh, the sub-zero motor is 2.3 watts, uh, 1300 RPM. Uh, I believe 0.22 amps. I will write all this down and put it on this chart. So you can evaluate it, this particular motor that's made for Sub-Zero by a company called Morel from Garrett, Indiana. They also, they also make the Packard motor. However, this is 1300 RPM. This is 1550. Uh, so these are two Sub-Zero motors. They're both identical. Then we have the, uh, the SM 5109, this is a Subco motor. So, here's the various hardware that comes with it. This is the Subco motor, 1550 RPM, 2 watts, clockwise. 0.28 amps. I'll write all that down on the chart so you can get a visual of it, take a picture of it. Uh, this is a foot mounted motor and a rear mounted, so you can use it. Um, almost in any situation. However, it's a very powerful motor and uh, if you use it, if you use the old style blade, it's going to be noisy. Here's the Packard 1002. This also is made by Morel. It's a cast iron motor. It's pretty heavy. Um, this one is made in Mexico. 0.22 amps. Clockwise, 1550 RPM, 2 watt output. So, we'll try that. And then we have this Whirlpool motor. This Whirlpool motor, which is the 833-697. This motor... Hold on, i got to get to see this here. It's 2 watts. And it's 1200 RPM doesn't tell you anything on the box but these are really popular these days as a replacement for Sub-Zero because they're not foot mounted they're rear mounted and uh, we use these in place when we can't get the the 0740 motors we use these on the newer models because we don't need the foot mounted type when you have the older Sub-Zero units with the foot mounted then you have to to get a replacement you either use the Sub-Zero motor or and if you can't get the sub-zero motor you can use these however I've had problems with these motors with being noisy and so I'm going to show you the difference between the different blades now this is the old style blade and if you look at the pitch you'll see it's, it's got a pretty similar pitch to um, this I believe came off a of 632 and if you look at that that's that's the same pitch okay so I would expect Maybe this motor with this blade would be just as noisy, but sometimes because it's a metal blade, it's a little heavier, it turns a little slower. Plastic blades last a pretty long time unless they get dry rotted and bust, they can bust up in the center. Here's the newer one. This is the uh, 7014653. This is the black fan blade. Uh, and this is the ones that we're using uh, these days. Take it out of the packaging so I can show you the difference in the pitch. So you look at this blade as opposed to the old blades and you can see there's a difference in pitch. And that little bit of difference in pitch is enough to slow down or reduce the noise level. So uh, we'll uh, check all that and then this is a common universal 7-inch metal blade that you can buy in almost any refrigerator store uh, and you can bend these 
to whatever pitch you want. However, in my experience, it's almost impossible to get them all exactly the same, so you get a little bit of a wobble. Um, so you really need a, a machine or a press to press the pitch into it. But you could use this and you could bend these to this same pitch. Look at the difference between the Sub-Zero blade and this blade. It's practically no pitch. So I would imagine putting this on the motor is going to be very, very quiet. But draws very little air. So uh, we bought these, these meters here. We have a tachometer. We have an anemometer. The tachometer will measure the speed of each motor against its advertised speed. The anemometer will measure the wind power, you know, how much air is being pulled through the condenser and doing the proper cooling. And then, of course, this is a decibel meter, and this is going to measure the sound. So what we'll do is we have this mocked up condenser over here that we took out of a, um, a, a bottom a BFI. And we're going to mount each motor onto this condensing unit. And we're going to measure the, uh, the wind velocity through the condenser and the sound level. And then I'll post it up on this chart. Okay, here is the factory motor. It's on. It's running. So I'm going to check the speed. Thirteen seven nine one three seven nine point five. It's um, specs on the rear say it's thirteen hundred, so it's pretty close. And I would imagine because the blade is not on it, that might be the reason why it's turning a little faster. Okay, so let's stop this thirteen uh, seven ninety five. Cut that off. So now we have the factory motor connected with the metal blade. And we're going to get a reading here. Three hundred and seventy-four feet per minute. So we'll use that as uh, a basis. This is the factory motor. So it's three hundred and seventy-four feet per minute traveling through that condenser coil with that sub-zero motor. And so Let's just do that one more. 374, I believe it was. 374, so we'll mark the speed at 374. Okay, the next thing we'll measure is the noise level. Okay, we're testing this from the rear because this is where the noise is coming from. It's not in front of the condenser but behind it and we're getting a value of I want to say I don't know it's fluctuating between 84 85 let me shut up for a minute all right let's say 85 on average I will change this um, and um, change the blade and see what kind of a what difference we get Okay, so here's the chart that I made up. Uh, I'll just put it on a spreadsheet so you can see it. See it. So, but before I get to the chart, I just want to mention a couple of more things, um, especially this um, condenser fan motor from the uh, for the 249. Uh, this motor has 1300 RPM, and it's has a 40 degree pitch on the blade so that when it's in position which is usually on the left side it's sucking air from the back of the motor through the condenser coil over the compressor which is right here and then out a channel to release the hot air and that's how the 249 works but the difference is what I wanted to focus on here is that both of these motors have the same part number but one's 1200 RPM and one's 1300 RPM. So just, just so you know that. But look, the pitch on this blade is, is awesome. And it's designed, it's a, it's a clockwise motor from the back, looking at it from the back. But So turning counterclockwise means that that blade is pushing air, this toward, towards my right hand. It's pushing air. It's not sucking it through because the condenser is on this side on the 249 RP. 
goes like that. Uh, I already talked about this metal blade, uh, this universal metal blade. One other thing I wanted to mention is that back in, I don't know, maybe 30 years ago, could have been 35 years ago, Sub-Zero only used foot-mounted condenser fan motors. And uh, we used to use these Robert Shaw condenser fan motors, which were OEM, basically OEM. They were exactly the same as the uh, Sub-Zero motors. But uh, there was a shortage, and we couldn't get the fan motors. And not just me, but every appliance guy that needed fan motors couldn't get the motors. So what we did was I got together with my distributor uh, at the time, and uh, we had these brackets made up, hundreds of these brackets made up. And what they did is we allowed us to bolt this bracket onto the back of this motor, like that, a couple of screws, and then you had the four screws for the same match as the foot mounted, which mounted on the bracket like that. And so that's how we were able to get by 35 years ago, or whenever it was, I don't even remember. Um, still have a couple left. And we used them, but as soon as we were able to get the right motors, of course, we went back and got the right motors. So I just wanted to make mention of that. Now, as far as the chart is concerned, this is what we found. Uh, the sub the 420 0740 motor is a, has an output of 2.3 watts 0.7 amps it's advertised as or it specs on the back say 1200 rpm our tax at 1197 that's pretty close and then we charged each motor with each different blade so with the white blade or the metal blade the sound level was uh, 78.3 the wind speed was 393.7 and so on and so forth. And you can see that with the black blade, look how low the, the sound level was with the black blade and the speed was lower. So um, there's not much of a difference uh, between the two Supco, the Supco and the Packard motor, but you can see with the Supco motor as a two watt output. Oh, by the way, this is the pitch of those blades. The, the metal blade has a 26 degree pitch, give or take. I don't know how accurate that is. It's got to be plus or minus one. Uh, and the, uh, the white blade had a 32 degree pitch and the black blade had a 22 degree pitch, give or take. So now you can see here with the Supco motor, uh, sound level 68.3, wind speed 413.4. That thing is really sucking in a lot of air through that condenser. With the white blade, we got even more. 511.8 at a sound level of 67.2 and then with the black blade 63.5 a little quieter on the sound level 393 on the wind speed so you can see the difference in the pitches packard motor 2 watt 0.22 amp 1550 advertised rpm we came up with 1390.8 um, that's as accurate as I could get. It could be a little bit more, but it's it's a little bit off. Uh, sound level, 67, a little bit quieter than the, the Supco motor. 393 on the wind speed, a little less uh, than uh, the Supco motor. The, the white blade, 69.8, a little bit more sound level than the Supco. And 472.4 on the wind speed which is uh, a lot more than the metal blade. Then, of course, with the black blade, we had 67.5 on the sound level, which is quiet, quieter, and then 413.4 on the wind speed. And then finally, with the Whirlpool motor, 2 watt, 0.18 amps, advertised at 1200, came out to 1281.5, a little bit more. Here's your sound level with the metal blade, 59. With the white blade, 59.4, that's pretty much the same. And then with the black blade, 50.9. And then as, the, as far as the wind speed is concerned, 374 with the metal, 393.7 with the white, and 374 with the black blade. So you could see that as far as sound level is concerned, and that's what's really important when you're using the Packard and the Subco motors. You see what the factory is, 59.5 with the black blade. And with that speed motor so um that's there's, there's your difference you, the packard and the subco motor are much stronger motors they turn faster so they're going to make more noise and they're going to pull in more air <clears throat> you 
So those are the stats. Take a picture of it. Keep it on your phone if you ever want to refer to it. There are some other uh, motors that we use uh, out there. For instance, I have a I have a 632 here in the shop. It's got a Fasco motor on it, and I have a 611 here that has a GE. Mo uh, not, I'm sorry, that's the factory motor. So that's where we're at. Uh, I think I covered all of it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Have a good day.